Hey guys, welcome to today's video and today it's going to be what if Goku couldn't have kids? So, the first impact of it is in the five year gap between Dragon Ball and Z. So where Goku and Chi Chi settle down into married life and raise Gohan. They're still married but this time Goku doesn't slack on his training. The first five years before Raditz arrived Goku slowed down a bit, he was a good parent to Gohan and slowed down his training and Chi Chi was an over the top mother but now they just have each other and they train together Goku pushing himself to the limits and Chi Chi learning new techniques because Chi Chi fell in love with Goku as the fighter the world's protective and nice guy and she still loves that regardless of whether there's a child involved or not. So, over the course of the next few years, the two become a lot stronger. Goku, it's not a significant increase as to where he was in canon when Raditz arrived. Whereas it said he was in his 300s when Raditz arrived, he'll be in his high 400s. And Chi Chi will be just a bit stronger than Krillin. So, Piccolo will sense the increase in Goku's power. He'll also push himself even harder during this time, trying to keep up with Goku. Now, it's the time when Raditz arrives. Goku and Chi Chi have gone to Master Roger's Island, where as Gohan and Goku would have. So this time, there's not much shock there in the arrival. The not confuses why and how Goku had a kid. And this is when Raditz arrives. This time instead of Krillin approaching him, Chi Chi does. And she senses his movement, he's about to hit her with a tail like he did with Krillin. The last second she jumps out of the way and grabs Raditz's tail. Goku and Chi Chi demand him tell them the full story what is going on. So Raditz tells them the full details about the Saiyans. Goku says that he couldn't be from such a heartless race of monsters. Raditz says you're soft Kakarot. Goku says well, you're not going to destroy this planet, you're not going to kill anyone. We will stop you. Raditz hunched over in pain because of the fact that his tail is being grabbed, still manages to laugh. Through the scout of Vegeta and Nappa are hearing all this and they're amused that Raditz is being beaten by such weaklings. Goku says, if you really are my brother, you'll leave now. Raditz, like he normally would, he promises that he'll leave, but obviously he won't. Chi Chi lets go of him and Raditz straight away punches Chi Chi in the stomach, she drops to the ground. Raditz grabs her and says to Goku, Kakarot, you have two hours to kill a hundred humans, otherwise your wife dies. And he flies off as per normal. So this time instead of just Goku and Piccolo flying after them, Krillin joins them as well. So the fight begins, and like normal, they're all getting beaten quite badly. This is when Goku and Krillin come up with a solar flare and grab tail technique. So Krillin uses a solar flare while Goku grabs Raditz's tail. And again, Goku is so gullible and stupid that he falls for Raditz saying that he'll just leave. Raditz gets up, knees Goku in the stomach and he's a bit close to the crater where his ship landed from where he chucked Chi Chi into his pot. This is when his scouter beeps, the power is increasing behind him, Chi Chi fires Kamehameha wave, breaking out of the ship and just skimming Raditz as he avoids it at the last second. He's straight up just 
blast Chi Chi who avoids the blast because she was getting out of the ship anyway. She rushes over to Goku to get him up to his feet and the two charge Raditz. They can't land a single attack. Piccolo is now charging the special beam cannon. And Goku and Chi Chi are knocked back. Raditz fires a double Sunday aiming at Chi Chi. Goku tries to grab her and get her out of the way, but both are hit by the attack. Both Chi Chi and Goku are dead. Piccolo now shouts, It's time, Krillin! Raditz turns around, Krillin uses solar flare to blind him, jumping out of the way, and Piccolo fires a special beam cannon, killing Raditz. Now, as Raditz is dying, Krillin goes over to him. Raditz says, Well, at least I took out the weakling of our race, the disappointment of our family. Krillin looks at him and says, The only difference now is that you're going to die. Goku and Chi Chi will be back. Raditz says, How? Krillin says, The Dragon Balls. This is when Bulma and Roshi arrive. Bulma just runs over to Krillin and hits him over the head and says, Why would you tell him about the Dragon Balls? Krillin says, Why? It doesn't matter, he's dying. And this is when Raditz bursts out laughing, saying, My Saiyan comrades, they've just heard you. They're going to come to Earth. They're going to find these Dragon Balls. Then they're going to destroy you all. He laughs as he dies. Goku and Chi Chi have now died. Piccolo says to Krillin, Look, you impressed me during that fight. Come train with me, I could use a good partner right now. If there's anything like this last one, we need to get a lot stronger. I can't do this alone. I need to train with someone. So Krillin goes off and trains with Piccolo for the year. Yajirobe is ordered by Corrin to get Yamcha, Tien and Chaozu, and Master Roshi demands that he goes to train as well. And he also suggests that they need more fighting power. So they get Nam, the fighter from the first two world tournaments. He was a very capable fighter, and under Kami's training, under the well, training with the other Z fighters, he would be a good ally. Now, as for Goku and Chi Chi, Kame has asked King Yemma for them to go and train with King Kai. So, Goku originally took a long time to get to King Kai's, but with Chi Chi there, she's pushing him. She's very strict and she forces him to give it all he's got to get to King Kai as fast as possible and she tries to keep up. So they get there a couple of months early. So Goku and Chi Chi get stronger quicker. Obviously it's gonna take Chi Chi longer to actually catch Bubbles and hit Gregory. So in this time Goku is still training. He's learning techniques and Chi Chi learns the techniques too. So Krillin and Piccolo with Piccolo training with a fairly strong partner to start with, his first bit of training he gets stronger quicker. And Krillin, having to keep up with Piccolo, he's always had to try and keep up with someone. He learns new techniques, he masters new abilities and gets stronger incredibly quicker. He's stronger than what he was training with Kami. Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu, they're all the same strength. Master Roshi, I'd say he'd be on par with Yamcha, and Nam would just be a bit weaker than Yamcha. Actually, no, he'd just be a bit weaker than Chaozu. So, it comes to a couple of weeks before the Saiyans are meant to arrive, and Chi Chi says to King Kai, Don't you think we should? wrap up the training in the next few days. After all, it took us how long to get here on Snake Way? Now this is key because King Kai originally forgot about
about the journey down Snake Way. Mrs. reminded him and said it should take you two days to get down Snake Way. But just be safe, we'll give you an extra day. I believe you're ready. So, three days before the Saiyan's arrival, Goku contacts Bulma through King Kai to use the Dragon Balls to revive them. And the two make it back before the Saiyans arrive. So, the day of the Saiyan arrival, they land in the city as normal, but they have people waiting for them. Goku and Chi Chi are stood there. Before Nappa wipes out the city, Goku grabs his hand and says, I don't think so. You're not killing anyone on this planet. Leave. Now. Nappa laughs and says, Are you going to stop me? Goku says, Well, yeah, we stopped Raditz. Why not you two? Vegeta bursts out laughing and says, So, it's true, there must be Dragon Balls. This is Kakarot. Goku says, If we must fight, let's fight elsewhere. Vegeta just says, Very well, let's go. So they fly over to a wasteland where Piccolo, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu, Roshi and Nam are all waiting for them. Vegeta laughs and says, What, you got a little army? So they use all the Cybermen to start with. Yamcha and Tien want to fight them. Chi Chi just says, No, let me. She wipes them out with a flick of her hand. Chi Chi has got a power level now of 8,000. She's even stronger than Piccolo, who, with training with Krillin, has gotten up to about 5,000. Krillin is about 3,000, and all the others are the same, except for Goku. I would put him at about 15,000, and this is without the Kaioken. So, Nappa steps up, and Chi Chi and Nappa are pretty evenly matched. Chi Chi has a slight edge, but Nappa is more brutal. Chi Chi then results to using the Kaioken, eventually beating down Nappa. He's severely hurt. Vegeta says, How is this possible? How's a human woman stronger than Nappa? Nappa stumbles to his feet. Vegeta, let me fight again. I have to restore my honor now. Vegeta just puts his hand to Nappa and says, No, it's my turn. Now fight Kakarot alone. Goku tells them all to step back and he'll take care of Vegeta. So the two begin fighting and Vegeta has an edge. Goku hasn't used the Kaioken, so Vegeta is stronger than Goku. So while this fight is going on, Nappa regains a bit of strength and fires a blast at the Z Fighters while they're watching on. Most of them avoid it, but Chaozu, he gets hit directly with a blast. Tien is infuriated by this and fires a tri-beam at Nappa. Too weak to avoid it, he is killed instantly. Vegeta notices this, and Goku takes advantage of it and hits Vegeta to the ground, and uses the Kaioken to fire a Kamehameha wave at Vegeta. But because Goku's shot it didn't actually hurt Vegeta as he hit the ground, he can quickly gain his composure, get to his feet and fire a Gallic gun before he's hit with a Kamehameha wave. So, the two beams are locked in a struggle. Goku's is overpowering Vegeta's as he's using the Kaioken. He then realises that if he does actually hit Vegeta, this blast will go into the earth and destroy the planet. He then stops the attack and moves away from Vegeta's Gallic Gun. Vegeta 
then flies up to face Goku. He says, Now, Kakarot, we have the last two Saiyans now that Nappa is dead. Join me, and you can have whatever you want. We can rule the galaxy. Goku says, Are you insane? I turned down the offer when Raditz gave me it. Why would I accept it now? Because Kakarot, you are far stronger. We are the last members of a dying race. The two of us, we can start everything. We can rule everything. I am the prince and with you by my side, no one can stop us. Goku says, no, you're a monster, you must be stopped. Vegeta just says, have it your way. And the two commence fighting again. So again, Vegeta is getting the upper hand and Goku is now using the Kaioken. Seeing how brutal Nappa was, he's not taking any chances with Vegeta. So eventually, Vegeta realises that Goku can overpower him with this Kaioken. So he flies up to the sky and finds the moon, as he originally did. But this time there's actually a moon there. He becomes Ozaru, attacking all of the Z fighters. Oh, he actually heard Raditz his fight against Goku, Krillin and Piccolo. So he's aware of the solar flare technique. So every time Krillin shouts anything, he closes his eyes and strikes where Krillin is. Krillin manages to avoid each of these attacks, barely. He eventually is crushed by Vegeta. This infuriates Goku, who uses a Kaioken times two which is still doing nothing against the Ozaru Vegeta. Yamcha yells at Goku we need to cut off the tail. He just nods and tries to divert Vegeta's attention and then Tien grabs Vegeta's tail hoping that it hurts him like it did with Raditz and Goku but it doesn't Tien is then smashed into a mountain and Vegeta kills him they all just stand back not knowing what to do Roshi then powers up into his buff form and fires a Kamehameha wave Vegeta avoiding it thinking that it's aimed at him Roshi blows up the moon for the second time. Vegeta returns to normal. As his body is shrinking, both Goku and Chi Chi use the Kaioken technique and hit Vegeta clean in the face and the stomach, smashing him into the ground. Then, together they fire a Kamehameha wave, severely hurting the prince. He stumbles to his feet is when Yamcha attacks him. Vegeta, injured, still managing to avoid these, but when Nam attacks him from behind, Yamcha and Nam and now Roshi joining the battle are overpowering the prince. Goku tells him to stop, that he'll finish the fight. They all back off and Vegeta is now getting beaten down by Goku. He falls to the ground. Says, fine, do it. Finish me. Goku says, no. Everyone just looks at him like, why? Says, everyone is worthy of redemption. Look at Piccolo. He's here fighting besides us. Piccolo just says, No. He's not like me, Goku. This. Technically, Piccolo hasn't killed 
anyone. Not a single person. And Vegeta then fires a blast at the Mechian, which severely hurts the shoulder of Picor. He then fires a blast from his mouth, hitting Vegeta clean on. Vegeta is now unconscious. They don't know what to do with him. They take him to a hospital where they all just watch over him. Goku's staying there ready in case he attacks. Uh, eventually Vegeta wakes up and he says to Kakarot, you know what? I can't get any of these Dragon Balls here on Earth. I might as well go to Namek where the green one was born. Who says Namek? Uh, yeah. I heard the legend of the Dragon Balls. I can grant any wish. Clearly I'm not going to get that while you're around. So, I'll go to Namek instead. Goku grabs Vegeta's arm and says, Does that mean the Dragon Ball's air will be stronger than ours? Maybe even able to bring someone back more than once? Vegeta says, I don't care. I'm leaving now. He exits the hospital, calls for his pod, and heads straight for Namek. Goku informs the rest of his E Fighters and Bulma about this, saying that they can bring back. Chaozu and Krillin with the Namekian Dragon Balls. They all agree and a ship is built for them. So, Goku, like normal, he asks for the gravity chamber to be built in the ship because he knows how much it actually helps him training in gravity. So, this takes a bit longer. So, they set off. About the time that Goku originally arrived. Well, sorry, about the time Goku originally set off. And that is where I'll end the video, guys. So, what did you think? When will they get there? Will Freezer have already got his wish? Will Vegeta have got his? So, as always guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time, bye.